Hello guys, welcome back to E7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to show that how we can prove that the maximum bending moment for a simply supported beam where the pointed or concentrated load is equal to the PL by 4. So we have to prove this um, factor that the maximum moment is equal to the PL by 4. So you just simply put the value of P, which is a pointed load here, and then the length, which is the length of the beam here l here l and then dividing by four you get the maximum bending moment for this type of beam when there is a pointed or concentrated load the maximum bending moment of the beam depends on many things for example it depends on the on the load either it is pointed load or concentrated load it also depends on the support condition for example either it is a simply support hinge support or roller support or also depend on the fixed support which is mostly in the cantilever beam or in the fixed uh, types of the beam. It also depends on the length of the beam. So there are different conditions for the bending moment of a beam. But here we will only show the maximum bending moment for a simply supported beam with a pointed load. You see here pointed load of P is acting here. So now how to find it? So to find out this thing, first I have to make it remove this thing and so this is the load P is acting here on the beam at the center of the beam. So this will be equal to the this will be equal to the L by 2. And this will also be equal to L by 2 because the load is acting at the center of the beam. Now if this is support condition A and this is support condition B, so half of the load will be taken by this support. It will be P by 2 and half of the load will be taken by this support. It will be equal to the P by 2. So now, where will be the maximum bending moment? We know that this is a hinge support, so the moment resistance capacity of this support is equal to zero. This is a roller support, so the moment resistance capacity of this support is equal to zero because they are roller and hinge support. The roller and hinge support cannot take any moment. Only the fixed support, which is represented by this way, they can take the moment, which is will be the M not equal to zero. So in this case, the moment value at these two supports will be equal to zero. Now, where will be the maximum moment? Of course, the maximum moment will be somewhere here at the mid, at the load where the load is acting. So in this case, where the load is acting at the midpoint, so the maximum moment will be at midpoint. But how to find out? So this is, for example, C point. So we have to find out the maximum bending moment at C point where the load is acting. So, so we will find. We know that the moment is equal to the force multiply with the moment arm so force is equal to the f multiply moment arm which is r now so this is moment so moment at point c is equal to the which is the maximum moment force force we have for example we find moment at point c so it is force multiplying with the moment arm so force is this here p by 2 multiply with the moment arm now the moment arm is basically the distance between the load and the support conditions where you want to find out the moment so we find out the moment at point c so it is the distance between the load and to the point where you want to find out the moment so this is known as the moment arm here and this moment arm is l by 2 here so multiply by l by 2 so by multiplying this we get p l 2 into 2 so we get p l by 4 so this is the way how to get out the maximum moment for a simply supported beam with a pointed load. In the similar way, you can also find out the maximum moment, for example, like in this way. This is a, a low beam and then this load is acting P at any distance of, for example, this is L by 4 or maybe L by anything. So you have to multiply the force which is acting here with the moment arm AR, you will get to find out the moment at any point. But as we know that this load is acting at the midpoint, so it will show the maximum bending moment at the middle of the beam. So this is the most commonly used formula for a simply supported beam. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.